Hello, I'm John from the Mask Face Journal, and this is what I've read this week. July 13th, 2016. Detective Comics, issue 936, written by James Tinian IV, and art by Alvaro Martinez. There's a lot of stuff going on in this issue, but not a lot that I can talk about without spoiling it, because this issue is one giant step forward in this story. Batman has been assaulted, that happened last issue, and the team is reacting to that. Uh, the Belfry, the new base, gets compromised, I can tell you that much. Some of the uh, characterizations, ex one characterization in particular, is kind of hard to swallow if you've ever read the Batwoman comic. The art is nice, and for a, for a book called Detective Comics, it's not a lot of detecting going on. Action Comics, issue 959, written by Dan Jurgens and art by Tyler Kirkham. If there's not much detective work in detective comics, there is a lot of action in action comics. This issue is a slugfest. Superman and Lex Luthor versus Doomsday. There is not much story progression going on, but it is it is nonetheless entertaining. The uh, the Clark Kent mystery, it doesn't get anywhere closer to being explained, but hey, it's it's kind of early in the in the run, so I wouldn't expect it to be. It's still a little on the nose and annoying when it comes up, but what are you gonna do? The art, technically, it's it's good, but it's not really my cup of tea. It's uh, it's very anime inspired, especially in in the faces of John and Lois. Otherwise, it's okay. Uh, the Superman books continue to be the highlight of the week for me whenever a new one comes out, and I'm a Superman fan, so that's great. A Wonder Woman number two, written by Greg Rucka and drawn by Nicholas Scott. The art in this book is fantastic. If if not for nothing else, get it for the art. This uh, issue starts the second of the alternating storyline, so we're not really getting much story. It's retelling the origin of Wonder Woman. It's basically Diana on the island and Steve Trevor uh, uh, landing on the island, crash landing on the island, and. Um, there's there's not much to tell uh, story wise yet, but it's it's looking really damn good so far. Uh, the the origin doesn't seem to be the new fifty two origin. It's not to be expected that it was going to be the new fifty two origin, but it doesn't delve into the mystery of the the lie of the origin yet. Anyway, the Amazons on the island are quite different from the new fifty two version. They are not uh, terrible people, at least not yet. And, uh, yeah, Diana is not called Clay in a derogatory way in this. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. The Flash, issue 2, written by Joshua Williams, drawn by Carmine Di Gian Domencio, and colors by Ivan Placentia. There's a reason I'm mentioning the colorist in this issue. This issue deals with uh, Flash's police buddy getting superpowers. He's, he Last issue, he was hit by lightning, uh, getting the, the, uh, su the speed force powers. And in this issue, uh, f the Flash is training him to use those powers. There's a rogue scientist, an ex-Star Lab scientist that uh, Iris is investigating. And uh, she gets too close and gets kidnapped, so the Flash has to save her. And he has been researching the Speed Force, this rogue scientist, and has found out some kind of weapon to use against a speedster. When the Flash and... Uh, his friend arrives at the scene of the kidnapping for Iris. The, the scientist takes this as a confirmation that his experiment has worked. He is behind the lightning strike that gave the friend the powers. So he unleashes the lightning on the entirety of Central City. So there's going to be a lot of speedsters running around in the near future. And uh, I think that was part of the pitch from way back when Rebirth was announced. The art in this issue is not really for me. The I, I guess I've been spoiled by Francis Manapul so, for so long. The faces are so exaggerated, especially Barry's. But, but I think that the, the colorist does a damn good job. He helps save what would have otherwise been kind of unreadable for me, I think. 
Yeah, that's that's why I mentioned the colorist in the beginning. Nightwing Rebirth, written by Tim Seeley and art by Yannick Paquette. Uh, this, like the other Rebirth special, is uh, except for, of course, Rebirth, is basically a way for the reader to transition or introduce a new reader to the new status quo in the upcoming Nightwing book. I didn't read the Grayson book, and I'm not a Nightwing reader in general. I... I'm a Batman guy, I'm not so much a Nightwing guy. This basically says goodbye to the characters that we were used to in the Grayson book and says hello to the old gang in Gotham. I'm not sure I'm going to stay on this book. I'm like I said, I'm not a Nightwing reader. Sorry to say. It's 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 well written, the art is nice. It's just not for me. New Superman number 1. Written by Jean Luen Yang and art by Viktor Bogdanovich. Uh, this issue introduces the new character, Keenan Kong, who is going to be this new Superman, China's new Superman. He is a bully, he is completely full of himself, uh, yet he saves his uh, victim, his bullying victim, from a supervillain attack, and that gets him the attention from the a secret government department, Ministry of Self-Reliance. And uh, for that, he is set to receive the Superman powers. How the Chinese government can replicate Superman-like powers in humans uh, is not really explained. Like I said, Keenan is a bully, but he seems to only be bullying this little fat rich kid whose father owns and is responsible for a an airline, a Chinese airline, who seemingly somehow caused the death of Keenan's mother. That doesn't justify it to me. There is some sort of character arc going to take place, I am assuming. But so far, I am not liking this character at all. There is also a knockoff Batman and a knockoff Wonder Woman, so the Chinese is making a knockoff Justice League. I'm thinking the subtext of Chinese knockoffs is what's going on in this book. Anyway, I, I'm i not sure I'm going to keep reading this. This is what I read this week. You may have noticed that there is no Marvel books on my pull list. There is a reason for that. I don't like events. I don't like reading events week to week. And Marvel is doing only events these days, it seems. So, no Marvel books on my pull. I do, of course, re still read Marvel books, but uh, only trades now. That's that's necessary. Anyway, uh, like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hated it or disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. I am donezo for this week.